Electricity is a remarkable product. We use it every day. It supports every facet of modern society. We easily take it for granted. And more than that, we take for granted the system that manufactures it and transports it to us. But is the transport system, the grid network, able to meet the future challenges? Today's grids, Europe's electricity networks, serve as well. But all evidence points out to major changes ahead. The way we generate electricity, the end users can make more choices, and as a result, we fundamentally need to change our electricity networks. Well, electricity networks across Europe are 40 years old or more in many cases now. The question is, are the companies going to replace them as they are or take the opportunity for fresh thinking and innovation? After all, there are really many challenges. There's climate change, there are new customer requirements and new technology opportunities. To address the challenge here, stakeholders and representatives have come together to create a vision for a practical way forward and a way forward that will bring real benefits across Europe. As a result, the Smart Grids design was developed. It offers a whole variety of new opportunities. The Smart Grids design will offer smarter choices. Choices for governments, choices for companies and choices for customers at home. Just imagine being able to generate your own electricity at home and set the surplus back into the grid. Or if you were offered a cheaper price, would you be prepared to change your electricity reduced by 15 minutes when asked? Or in the longer term, you might like to buy an electric car, plug it into your home, not only to recharge, but to uh, provide your home with green electricity. Wouldn't that really create some really exciting opportunities? All this and much more is possible by making smart connections to a smart grid. Today, most people think of generation as a remote and rather centralized activity. But the world is changing. Power plants are becoming more efficient. Their carbon footprint is reducing. New sources of carbon-free renewable energy are becoming increasingly available. And there are tremendous advances in communications technologies. And, of course, the industry landscape itself is changing. Power generation is not longer, only lead by economy of scale, resulting in ever larger central plants. We are starting to see more medium-sized and even micro-scale generators that are even both efficient and clean. A, a micro-generator at home may appear a small scale, but if millions of homes have one, imagine the enormous effect. The smart grids of the future will connect large and small, centralized and dispersed power sources. They will link and coordinate generation local to users and remote from users, bringing, for example, solar power from the south of Europe, wave power from the Atlantic coast and wind power from northern Europe to blend with large-scale hydro, clean coal or gas-fired generation. The traditional grids were state-of-the-art at their time, but most were built in the middle of the last century. Consequently, every country in Europe is faced with a significant and unavoidable task of renewing them. It's a huge challenge, but this is a huge opportunity also. Grids need to be reinvented. There has to be a revolution in their technology. Um, we need a new way of thinking in order to connect uh, this person generation. This is because traditional grids were designed to connect one-way flows uh, for remote decentralized generation. However, we need now two-way flows if we want to connect efficiently dispersed generation. In this world of dispersed generation and uh, customer increasing integration, I really believe that it seems uh, reasonable to disperse also the intelligence which controls this network. It will uh, bring up a speed, it will reduce cost, and of course, it will enhance the security. 
at the same time strengthened European interconnection with its sharing of resources and trading possibilities will expand the European power market, bringing greater efficiency and value. To deliver these benefits, Europe has to rethink the architecture of its electricity networks on an international, national and local scale. There is a unique window of opportunity for creating the smart grids for the future. The smart grids design is about much more than wires. It's about a revolution for the whole electricity ecosystem. A whole new architecture to enable a sustainable future for Europe. To make this a reality, a lot of work has to be done. The smart grids will require research and investment in the electricity grids of Europe over the many years to come. Given that, this is an imperative that the costs are efficient for the customers of today and the tomorrows. There is a chance to set up Europe's grid for the next 50 years of their life, paving the way to connect greener generation, rising the reliability of supplies and making far better use of uh, valuable resources. The smart grid's revolution can be seen at two levels. Smarter metering and the ability to generate and export power locally will bring great choices for homeowners. While new methods of controlling bulk power flows across national boundaries will enable the cleanest sources to be tapped and supply resilience to be enhanced on a national and international level. The smart grid's design is a smart investment in a sustainable future for Europe. The smart grid's design has been developed by more than 200 experts across Europe. It's the combined vision of stakeholders, from engineers to business people, from academics to politicians. Well, if the smart connections and smart choices are going to be a reality, action has to be taken now. The vision is achievable, but we can't buy it off the shelf. We need research, demonstration and deployment projects, but technology alone is not enough. The smart gas design is going to involve all parties in a concerted and sustained effort over a number of years. There will be real challenges to overcome, but also opportunities. It's the key to success that technical issues are addressed together with the commercial and regulatory implications in a liberalized market. And there will be wider benefits for Europe as a high-tech region, for its people in sustainable job creation, and for its economy in enhancing export potential. The opportunities ahead, they are remarkable. But now it's time for some smart thinking. The time is ripe for a revolution in Europe's electricity networks. The vision has been created. Now it's time to act. The smart grids design is about making connections and enabling choices. Choices for customers, choices for governments, choices for you.